What's up, everybody? I'm Chris from Avahi Design, and welcome back to the Avahi channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to add animations to your WordPress website. Let's go ahead and hop in. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using my Avahi Design website, and we're going to do this to one of the case studies that I recently created. Uh, if you didn't see that video, I'll link it down below and you can go check that out. I created some really cool case studies for LB's general store. Those case studies though, didn't have any animation or anything fun going on. So they could be kind of boring. So we're going to go ahead and spice it up and add a little bit of animation. And to do that, we first need to go to the plugins and add new. We're going to be adding the plugin animate or animate. It should be the number one plugin that pops up when you look up animate and we're just going to click install. What's nice is this plugin isn't bloated like a lot of other animation plugins. So if we go to the pages and we go over to our case study page, you can see all the different items and elements that we've done. Let's say we want the challenge to slide in. All you have to do is add some uh, CSS classes under the advanced tab. To find what CSS classes you need to add, there's this thing called the class generator. And I'll link it down below, but it's it's in the documentation for the plugin. And this generator has all kinds of different animations that you can try and use. And it lets you test it here before you do anything else. So maybe I just want it to do a simple pop like this. I kind of like this. It's simple, clean, but still gets their, uh, their attention. And we're going to do it on hover and we're going to go ahead and click generate. So you'll see this adds a bunch of classes that you can copy and paste into your WordPress site. So we copy and paste that, click update, and let's go ahead and view the page and see if it worked. So it doesn't do anything yet because I haven't hovered over it. But yep, as soon as I hover over it, it does it. Now I do think this is a little bit weird and it's kind of similar to the uh, scale transform that I have on all my images. So we're gonna go ahead and change this to, let's try something like a slide. So we're gonna go down to slide in and let's do slide in left. And if you click animate it, you can see what it does. And we're gonna do that on scroll. Go ahead and click generate, command C or control C depending on your platform. Go back to WordPress, paste it in, update the page and let's refresh. And there you go. So you see it automatically slid in. Now let's say we want a quicker slide. We can change the duration and just click generate and copy and paste it just like we do a hundred times before this. And we just paste the new information in, update. And whenever we refresh, it should automatically update with the new animation. Yep, see it slid in much faster. And so you're able to do this with any of these elements because just about every element on here allows you to add a CSS class. So even this jetpack thing, we have CSS classes and we can add them. And as it says below it, you just have to separate with spaces. So you would just put a space in and then you could add all your classes to it. So let's go ahead and do that slide in on our jetpack image compare. And see it slid in. So you kind of got to play with the class generator and find something that you know, you can go really crazy with it and do something really weird or fun. There's a ton of different animation options. So that right there is the quickest way to add CSS animations to your website. Uh, you don't have to worry about any code. You know, the most it is is copying and pasting. So pretty much anybody can do it and you can add it to just about any website. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.